Hello, I'm Tom from Pulled Apart by Horses. I'm James from Pulled Apart by Horses. I'm Rob from Pulled Apart by Horses. And we're in the Buffalo Bar. Well, tonight we're having a Christmas party. Christmas party, London Christmas party. And it's like, we've did a competition for people to enter to win a place to come down. And, um, yeah, like... The, it's meant to be like the playback, the playback of the album. Of the album. Like, we stick a CD on, everyone gets to hear it before it comes out. But there's going to be a curtain. There's going to be a little be behind surprise. the curtain. And they're going to rip the curtain down. And then we're going to play gonna make it. the right message yeah. instead. As, as soon as people come down the stairs, uh, it's going to be blatantly obvious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be playing. You're going to hear buzzing of amps. Yeah. And feet under curtains. Yeah, me and James have got the noisiest amps in the world. So it's going to be a curtain and then... <laughs> so, yeah, they'll be able to guess that. We're all, we're all about the gimmicks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's just it, called doing it's just cool to do something a bit different rather than I mean obviously we tour and do do more normal sort of gigs, but then it's nice every now and then just to do something a bit different and I just I think it's cool to do stuff for the it fans. Just, like, yeah, it just keeps you close to the fans and stuff. I'd say like the perfect gig's just one with like an amazing atmosphere, like in the whole sort of room. Rather than just on a stage or rather than just in the crowd, like the whole room is just like yeah. just got a good buzz. Everyone's like feeding off each other and stuff. And there's blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some fair few injuries. I think the, one time. of the worst, well, the most blood was when at uh, uh, Leeds Festival, yeah. and you jumped off the stage and his shin hit the barrier and he got back on stage. And we were all kind of looking around going, why, why is his leg so red? No, I noticed. First, someone noticed oh, I had a bit of blood on my hand. I, I mean, on my shoulder, and I jumped in the crowd and crowd surfed. But I was didn't realise that I was bleeding on on people. <laughs> and then they were carrying me around. It was just someone's hampering to my own blood. Also, you once got. Uh, the, I think this is one of the first major ones. You got a big. Cause you used to have a centre part, in, didn't you? Yeah, well. oh, yeah, yeah. You got like a big. Somebody hit him on top of the head. It was, it was your face. Probably was me. <laughs> and it, like just. Cut all down the centre of his head like But that. I remember people and his brain <laughs> fell out. <laughs> and they were gonna put it back in, but we just left it. I mean you can't even fit it in a it's, tin of mushy peas. There's just a pickled egg in there now <laughs> rattling about. We just recorded a new album called Tough Love, which is out in January. It feels feels more like our first proper album because the first album was kind of wasn't as wasn't rushed, but it was kind of the songs we had at the time. Yeah. Rather than this time round, it was like we set out to write an album. Um, and we recorded it with a guy called Gil Norton. He was a complete legend. Uh, he'd done a few Pixies albums, Foo Fighters, Colour and Shape, uh, Jimmy Eat World. It's a bit scary at first. The other well, thought of it was, but then when we actually met him when we did the pre production for the album, he was just like a big cuddly bear, isn't he? <laughs> Big cuddly liver puggly <laughs> bear. <laughs> God, yeah, he's gonna love that when he does that back, isn't he? Uh, he's quite strong. James, you're an idiot. Oh, God. <laughs>